Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can strum through a song called Good Riddance by Green Day. And we're going to start off on a G major chord, and the way you play G major, first finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string on the third fret, and third finger on the high E string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really, really happy. Now, another G major you may want to play around with is putting the third finger on the B string third fret, pinky on the high E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that's another way you could play G major. It sounds really happy. And then from the G, we're going to be going to a C major chord. One way to play a C major, we're going to be doing the first finger on the B string first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, third finger on the A string third fret. And if you strum the A string and the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really, really happy. Now another way to play the C, or another C you may want to think about playing, is something called C major 9, the way you play C major 9. First finger goes to the D on the 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the A string 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the B string 3rd fret, and the pinky on the high E string 3rd fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major 9. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major 9, we're going to be going to a D major chord. When we play D major, first finger goes to the G string 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the high E string 2nd fret, 3rd finger on the B string on the 3rd fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord. Now randomly, since we're talking about different G's and different C's, you could kind of take the pinky and kind of add him in on the high E string on that D chord, and that's something called a D sus or D suspended. And a lot of times while I'm on D chords in general, a lot of times I'll kind of play around with, with D sus. Or you could even take the D major and then lift the second finger, which is always a dangerous finger to lift. And then that's come something called D sus too. So while you're on D chords, you may want to kind of play around with those and see what you can say with them. Now there's this cool arpeggio lick actually, and what an arpeggio is is a broken chord. So instead of playing the G major all the way through, what you may want to do is do the low E string twice, and then the B string, and then G string, and then D string, and then the G string. So it's kind of breaking up the chord. So arpeggio is a fancy Italian word that means broken chord. So you're going E, B, G, D, G, B, E, B, G, D, G. It's kind of an arpeggio around that chord. And then from the G, then we're going to go to the C, and kind of paralleling that idea, actually, but now you're starting on the A string instead. So we're going A, A, B, G, D, G. That's kind of a little arpeggio around the C chord. And then you can kind of go to the D chord and then kind of do almost that same arpeggio where you go D and then G, B, G, D, G, or D, D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two. Way through you got the G chord arpeggio, G arpeggio, C arpeggio, D, and then back to G. So you want to kind of use that for your intro or even through the verses could be a cool idea. D, or even through the whole song if you're digging on that. Now a lot of times with a song like this though to make it more interesting I like adding something called a strum pattern and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the G and we just tried that a lot. We'd have down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that through our intro. We'd have G, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, up. Now at the end of our verse though we end up with this cool little tag where we go to an E minor chord and we play E minor. First finger goes to the A string on the second fret, a second finger on the D string second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now another way you can play the E minor if you're kind of digging on this is you can put the third finger on the B string third fret and the pinky on the high E string third fret. And that's something called E minor seven. It sounds really, really sad. So at the very end, we're kind of, we end up on an E minor to a D major, to a C major, and then a G major. Now if you wanted to, you could kind of follow that same arpeggio idea, actually through the verses, and kind of go low E twice, and then the B, G, D, G idea from the arpeggio, and kind of follow the whole thing with arpeggios if you wanted to. 
this can also feel really good finger style, actually, if you're, you're kind of interested in that right now, picking all the notes. But you could kind of line up the fingers and then kind of work it as a finger style, too. So your thumb could kind of become your bass player for that intro lick. Middle finger could play the B string, index finger on the G string, and then the, and then you could kind of move the thumb up to the D string for that D string note. So you could kind of work it as kind of thumb, thumb, middle, index, thumb, index, mid, thumb, thumb, middle, index, thumb, index. It's kind of a, 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 a finger style pattern. So we get mixed up a little bit for the D. So you may want to kind of think about using that too. And then at the end of that, what we could actually kind of go right into that E minor for our first time. E minor. Also strum through that, and you have G down, up, up down, G down, down, up, up down, C down, down, up, up down, G down, down, up, up down, G, G down, up, up down, C down, down, up, up down, D down, up down, G minor, down, up, up down, G down, down, up, up down, C down. those things up actually so if we try our chorus we could do it with the arpeggios and that could be a cool idea that you're doing the E minor G E minor and then a D G and then kind of use kind of almost like our intro for our chorus tag at the end where we kind of go back to that With, with our strumming, <laughs> and then we'd have E minor with a down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, up, up, down, D, down, up, up, down, G, down, up, up, down, G, down, up, Now another thing that I would think about using, especially at different points in the tune, what could be kind of cool, especially if you're thinking of how you're going to play this song out, right, um, is you could kind of work, work, work almost kind of a punky idea if you wanted to with it, kind of eight downs on each chord might be kind of a cool idea to mix it up. So G, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G, C, and I'm kind of doing some muting there too, so I'm kind of putting my right hand down on top of the saddle. So you may want to kind of think about that just to kind of mix it up, kind of have some, something to kind of contrast through the verse. E minor, D, C, G. Or something else that I like to add to a song like this is bass notes. And actually we're kind of using those already for our arpeggios, but on the G chord you could use the G or the low E string for your bass on the first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up. Bass down, up, up, down, so that would be another possibility. And on your C chord, you'd have the A string for your bass. On the D, you'd have the D string for your bass. And then on the E minor, you'd have the low E string for the bass. So we tried our first with our bass down, up, up, down, up. We'd have G with the bass down, up, up, down, G with the bass down, up. Kind of, a, a solo, kind of, kind of the follow.
follows our verse form. So now through this whole tune though, you could kind of be working out with that finger style. So you have that G, G, C, D. So you may want to kind of kind of play around with that or break it up. And that can be a cool way to kind of work it through the tune actually. Some through good riddance by Green Day. So, good luck!